Hey beautiful people of Most High God, so I realized that my video came up with no sound. Sometimes this platform does that. Um, I guess they don't want you to know how to get your house in order, but I'm going to tell you how to get your house in order, alright? Because there's benefits of getting your house in order. Um, Hezekiah, the king of Israel, lived, you know, he was doing witching, he was doing all kinds of things. He set up abominations, he worshipped idols. And God sent Isaiah the prophet to um, Hezekiah to tell him, um, Thus says the Lord, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Because how King Hezekiah was living his life. But Hezekiah turned from his wickedness. He tore down the altars that he made for the idols and all the wicked setups he had in the land of Israel. And God seen that he acknowledged his ways and he started to repent before the Most High and removed all his evils. And what did God do? God had mercy on King Hezekiah. Like he will have mercy on you when you turn from all your evil ways. Now, you can read that story. I'm just going to read right now the precept with Isaiah 28 and 5, where he turned away the death of Hezekiah and he gave him, he added 15 more years on his life. Go and say to Hezekiah, thus says the Lord, the God of David, thy father. I have heard thy prayer, and I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. So he went to God with fasting and praying and sackcloth. You should read that story. All right? Now, how to get your house in order. There's ways to get your house in order, right? This, in Doctrine and Covenant, it tells us how to get our house in order. And as all have not faith, seek ye diligent and teach one another words of wisdom. Yeah, seek out of the best books words of wisdom seek learning even by study and also by faith organize yourselves prepare every needful thing and establish a house even a house of prayer so to get your house in order it needs to be a house of prayer a house of fasting a house of faith a house of learning and a house of glory and a house of order and a house of god so that is how you get your house in order by what seeking out the best books words of wisdom seek learning to learn even by the study to study and also by faith organize yourselves prepare every needful thing to do what to learn As to establish your house to a house of prayer a house of fasting a house of faith a house of learning a house of glory a house of order a house of god so that is a house of god when it has prayer, fasting, faith, learning, glory, and order in that house. It's a house of God. And your incomings may be in the name of the Lord, and your outgoings may be in the name of the Lord, and all your salutations may be in the name of the Lord, with uplifted hands unto the Most High. Now, in Psalms 121 and 8, it tells us, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth even forevermore. When what? Your house is in order. When you do what? It's your house is a house of prayer, fasting, faith, learning, glory, order. House of God, he preserves thee. So set thy house in order.